What's up, guys? Here we are live, Wedding Film School Live. We're going to be doing some film critiques tonight. I mean, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing film critiques. Rewind that. Start over. Start over. No, we're going we're gonna to be doing some, actually, some website critiques tonight. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that because myself as a web designer, um, as a person who works in the field, um, and I think it's super important. Um, yeah, I love doing this type of stuff. And so, yeah, how has everybody's week been? What's up, Benjamin? Um, I'm pretty beat because I shot two weddings last week, um, two the week before. This is crazy. Jared shot four weddings in a row. Four days in a row he shot a wedding. So we are just cranking over here. Um, kind of crazy busy. Can you hear me good, Benjamin? All right. So I'm going to kind of let people load on for a little bit. Oh, there. Let people load on. We got a few more people. Um, how's everybody's wedding season's been? so far I'd love to hear that um, here I'm gonna give a little poll I love creating like illogical polls that actually have options but I'll give one more Nobody's going to answer this one. Get ready for it, Benjamin. Got a little poll for y'all. So far, I don't have any. Wish it was 2020. <laughs> so, here we go. Um,. So I'm just going to kind of get into it. So let me just give you guys a little bit of my philosophy on websites and what is important to me as a web designer and as a wedding filmmaker. And, and I'll do my best. You know, I always try to like, I don't show our website because I think it's perfect. I show it because, A, I think if you're going to criticize other people, you need to be accountable. You need to show your own work. And so that's important, I think, to actually kind of um, be credible, <laughs> which matters to me. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of show you guys our website so you guys can see it. And I can talk you guys through some of the things that are important to me. Um, with what we do. So let me just get this up there. So here's the things that are important to me. The first thing for me is, is it easily readable? So can I see what the heck is going on? Um, does it navigate a person or does it drive navigation in the areas that um, you want it to? Um, and we can talk through that because different people have different goals. For us, the number one thing we want is for you to contact us, to reach out on our contact form. Um, this is my company, Stop Go Love. Um, I believe that if, if we can get you to fill out our contact form, we can probably get you to buy something. So we want to do that. So kind of very clear. The other thing I'm looking for is does it highlight the work? Um, we have this little teaser kind of thing that we cut. In the background we don't have any words over it or anything like that not to say that that's bad but that's just our choice we don't have words um, the other thing is for us and, and this is the thing that for all of your sites that I'm going to be looking at is is the branding cohesive and is it um, I hate to say it but is it cheesy does it seem cool does it is it gonna attract the people you want to attract I gotta say for me I'm pretty proud of the branding um, and then the kind of final thing is, does it talk directly to your couple, right? And that means your couple, your specific couple, who you're trying to get. For us, we're trying to talk right to an engaged couple. Um, 
And we got this this reel right here that we have up. It's our 2020 reel that we got up there. And just kind of showing them this is what we're about. This is what it's like to work with us. It's our work. Um, it's kind of got that fun vibe too. You guys can't probably can't hear it, but you know. So, you know, does the website show the work off well? Um, oh, we got to cut that off. Does it show the work off well? Um, and I'm always looking at upsells, too. So, you know, that's kind of what it is. It's our about page. It's our team. Oh, yeah. I think it gets you personally connected to who we are pretty except for this really weird picture of Jared. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> oh, us. Um, this is our services. So the other thing we want to be looking at is does your website. So different people have different takes on this. So I don't know that there's a right and wrong, but I do think it needs to be obvious and clear. Um, how to get moving, right? So we have this is what we currently offer. From a product standpoint, wedding films, photography, photo booth, live streams. And so it, does your website clearly outline what someone can buy and make it easy? Or is it, it, I think there's differences of opinion here. My personal opinion is like, I don't love those things where it's like, oh, we create amazing stories. Connect with us to find out more about amazing stories. Um, at least I like to have an idea of like, what are the packages that you sell? You don't necessarily have to have the price, but I think it helps people know like, what am I buying here? Um, we're not doing a pricing critique, but I think the page on your website where your prices and packages are presented should be very clear. Um, we actually have on this page, um, I'll, I'll show you guys this. This might be helpful to you guys. So this is how we do it. This is how we present it. You don't have to, but I think it does an effective job at presenting this information. Um, and just kind of, I think it's effective at selling. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. You guys, you guys ready to rock and roll? You're ready to, I can't even see you guys. I'm alone tonight. All alone. So. Yeah, no, it's um, it's just going through the mic, Benjamin. I wasn't playing it too. No, it's not too late, yeah, man. Um, so you can just go ahead and fill it out. May I might not be able to get into get into it, yeah, man, but we might be able to. So let's get into some websites. So the first website we're going to be looking at is Pure Motion. Are you here, Emotion Cinema? Normally. Uh, I might have changed the name. Either way, uh, who I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do someone else's until they get here. So I know that you're here, Glass Jar. Give give me a shout out if you're here. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying this live stream, go ahead and hit the like button. Helps us a lot. Um, pretty much the whole YouTube al algorithm is based on do people like your video. So we would love to. Um, just get this in front of more filmmakers so go ahead and hit that like button 
um, if you're watching this film. So let's look at glass jar films. So, um, stop texting me. I'm in the middle of a live stream, guys. I'm shooting tomorrow. I'm shooting Saturday as well. So doing logistics. Anyway, um, so I wanted to look at this website because there's a couple of things I like and a lot of stuff I don't like. But let's go with what I like first. First of all, I like that it's kind of edgy and a little bit different. Um, I, you know, I, I think that that's kind of fun. He even says, we are different. Um, and so I think that's really cool. So let's, let's just look. So first and foremost, don't love the pop-up, but I am curious if it works. So if you can let us know, like, do people actually click on this? Does it work? We've never tried. I've never tried anything like this on a wedding website, but curious if it works. If it works, if it drives traffic, that's really cool. Don't love how it looks. To me, it I mean, what I would say is if you're different, this to me seems like more of the same in terms of marketing. And maybe you don't want to do this. Anyway, here we go. Here's a website. Um, cool logo. So I, I think when you look at a website, does it immediately tell you about the brand? Um, and I feel like this kind of does. You got this neon secret of the ooze jar over here. Little TMT, TMNT throwback there. Um, and then you got these very, very well placed out films that are presented. So I'm really into that. I like the icons that you guys used. Um, weird title capturing. We proudly shoot our events on Sony... I'm curious if anyone cares about this and if that's important or not I think it's probably not important I'm wondering if there's a better some better information to put out there that would actually con connect with your couple um, show your work just better than just we have nice cameras I, I don't know that people care about that and I, d I think it's a missed opportunity like you're getting down here I have yet to see a film and you have Sony cameras above films. I'm also curious why it says post-production. Like, I'm just curious about the whole, this whole section here, the information communicated is very techy, And it's like you're advertising to like a, a wedding filmmaker group and not to a couple. And so I'm also curious about that. Um, if people are into this stuff or whatever, I, I, I tend to think this is a wasted a waste of space um i also don't love this center gutter where you have your like first of all the font's cool all this stuff is cool this is seems like it'd be a cool idea to have all your stuff in a jar it just looks weird to me like first of all mason jars to me are kind of passe and it dates you a little bit and i, I might want to consider getting just got this beautiful logo like you can't see it at all up there so maybe and I'm going all over the place so I apologize I'm just kind of reacting I think your branding is cool I think you need one more version of your logo that is actually readable in your top header either maybe just only showing like maybe a version that's just this super 8 camera or 8 not even super 8 but 8 millimeter camera um, something like that, maybe a one with the camera on the left and it horizontal, but bigger, more readable, uh, more legible up there. Even the colors are hard to read, although I like the inclusion of these wacky colors. I think that's kind of fun. Um, down here we got delivery. Um, yeah. So I want to read this. Let's read this. It started, why we are different. It all started... When Justin McMillan and Luke Tamer created a series of award-winning festivals for Baracus Tecaria in Manassas, Virginia. Each of the five annual events took months to plan, and we did everything in-house. Design, web, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. In a way, weddings are very similar to this thing I don't want to read. You film a wedding and all the real work begins after in post-production process. So why nickel and dime a couple with the amounts of hours? Uh, you know, 
I'm reading this and I'm thinking, I think the whole thing is this paragraph, right? Whoa. What is this? This is someone, a Coinbase account. Um, sorry. This paragraph, all this stuff. There's a lot about production, shooting. This is the thing I'll, I'll give you. This is my advice. People want to see themselves in your film. They want to think about themselves. They don't want to think about you. And so... You know, I think it's cool to say we are different, but people want to say, like, your vision is different in what way? Um, you know, your approach to them, your approach to their day, the way you see their film, the way you... So I would say, like, si just at the very least, um, simplify their... Um, simplify the language a little bit, make it a little more couples-focused, a little more fun, a little less tech-focused. I think that would help. I think that would be a little bit of a better way to go than simply that kind of we do a lot of post production we have nice cameras we have um <coughs> but minus the fact that i don't love the way this looks you got this kind of center thing going on you also have it down here i'm okay with it but it's not my favorite i think it's pretty solid home page and i think if you can clean up some of the information you present i think you're onto something and of course i think the branding is pretty sick um and that doesn't matter. Summer, summer promo. <sighs> so I'm always going to call people out on generic things, but I'll, at the end of the day, we've all been victim to it. How many, you know, I would say if you're saying, though, we're different, saying we live the moments is also not different. So you might want to think of like, have you ever seen the Bottle Brush site? I'm assuming you have. Um, if you've seen Bottle Brush films, their site is different. So you might want to check out their site because they're really different. I'm not saying you should be different because at the end of the day, I'm not sure what your couples are expecting. But so summer promo. Okay, let's check out packages. Uh, I, I mean, again, I love the way your packages are presented. I even like the icon, how you have a little diamond there. I mean, I think it's just solid overall. Um, you know, I mean, they, no must, no fuss. Like you're talking short film, longer film, longest film. You know, I'm not. I'm curious how this works for you. If you think you could maybe have more selling opportunities, um, I, I don't really care. But no one's gonna read this, so you might as well just delete it, in my opinion, because I'm not sure how important it is to your packages. Um, but I like overall. I mean, if I was a couple, I would know exactly what this was. So I say this is a win. Glass jar experience. I'm curious if you should have a page on your website called that or like di we're different or something that was like a weird page. You talked about yourself, maybe the about page. I don't know. Like, I think there's a missed opportunity on this site somewhere to do something personal about you. It's a little weird. Uh, maybe that's on the roots page. I just haven't got to it. And then there's the optional add-ons. I don't like that they are um, hover overs. I don't think this encourages people to, um, there's no incentive to hover over and learn about this. I'm curious if you would be better off just having text similar to your packages up here because, so I'm curious about that. If you, if it works, if people do hover over these things, I tend to think people often don't hover over this type of stuff. So tidbits, we, eh, whatever, that's fine. Um, get started. I would say you should shrink this down a little because you can't see the form. I don't want a form to be a below the fold. Um, when I when I have a website, I want us to have the the thing I want you to do. I want it to be above the fold. And we'll we'll talk about that tonight a lot. But this is the fold down here on a website and anything that's below that you need to scroll to is below the fold. Um, you really want to get people to, there's no reason this font, I mean, this could be one quarter this size, this logo. So, um, but let's look at what's on the form. We got uh, bride and groom name. Um, one thing I always point out to people, having um, gender neutral forms is um, often good. Um, 
couple name. Um, there's a lot of ways to do it. I'm not offended by this, by the way. I'm just, I always let people know, hey, you might want to consider looking at this and maybe doing some gender neutral ways. Email, great. Phone number, great. Wedding date, great. Venue, um, I personally think wedding location is a better way to say. More town, I think. Reception venue. I mean, these are okay. I'm curious if people fill them out, um, both of them. Um, I like this. It's good. But I also think probably, for me, we don't ask that question typically. Maybe we do. Actually, maybe we do. A lot of times people just put wedding film. Maybe you have the same experience as us, but people don't usually know what they want. Um, how did you hear about us? Good. Okay, cool. Good page minus the giant logo. Portfolio. I don't love the font you're using, by the way. I don't feel like it goes with the rest of the brand. I would consider changing that. Um, but I think this is pretty good. It'd be nice to know what I would love to see on this page is like our work or something and have an example of all your types of films, the two minute film, the five minute film, the 10 minute film. So people can watch those. I think that would help. Roots. Um, I don't love roots. I, I think I would prefer it to be about, but whatever. I mean, we're different. You want to be, you want to show you're different. And the page is cool. I think um, I think this is cool. I think people would love this. I mean, I wonder if pictures of you. Uh, uh, oh, man. I'm burning the candle at both ends. Wake up, Jason. Um, but I like this page. And I think, um, I think it's interesting for people. I'm, I'm curious about this, too. So, Because here's the thing. I'm not trying to ever tell anybody, oh, I know exactly what you should be doing. So here's my critique of this website overall. I would say, first of all, um, your goal is to be a little different. Um, there are things on here that are different that make that point. And then there are things on here that are not different. And I think end up kind of making you seem like everyone else. Saying stuff like uh, this. Or live the moment. No, that's not very different. What if it said something like, let's party, or let's do this, or you look amazing in that cool dress. I don't know. Something different. That would be the worst thing ever. Don't write, you look amazing in that cool dress. I mean, no, do, you should write it, but send it to me and let me see it so I'll laugh. But <laughs> I think just kind of leaning into it. Um, the only thing I'll say is this. Let's watch one of the films, or at least click on one and kind of see it, because... I'm curious if it is different or if it's just, um, you say you're different. Drone shot. Um, Cause that does matter. It's like, how is the film? How does this website work with the films? Looks, looks good. Work looks good. I'd love to have you one of your films submitted to the film critique. Um, okay, so just overall notes, like I said, maybe get a little weirder, a little wackier. Um, I would personally like to see some work right here and not all this stuff. Um, and I would like to see more couple focused language on your homepage. Um, I like how your packages are arranged. I think your a la carte could be better presented. Um, yeah, hey, K can Zynga, you can ask a question. Um, I would love it. If you have questions, guys, I'm alone, so if you want to super chat them, that would really help me because then I could actually make sure to get to them. Um, but, yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, was that helpful? glass jar was that a helpful little film critique for you i mean the only thing i'll say i really don't like the i don't like this if you if you feel strongly about it great i first of all i hate mason jars i don't want to look at them they remind me of grandma's um or like martha stewart or like but, but like six years ago and um second of all it looks like it's filled with toxic waste like this couple's wedding is toxic waste. Um, 
So, but I love the logo's awesome. Like the best thing on this website is your logo. I think you need um, just as a branding thing, glass jar. I think you need a little more of that hipster, super eight kind of feel in your films because I think they look um, they don't look as edgy as the logo. I think a little more edginess to match the logo and match where you clearly want to go. I think you should feel comfortable to push it a little more in the films because I think the logo and the clearly the way you want your brand to be is pushing that envelope. And so I think that's cool. And I think you should go for it. And I think if a couple likes, if this was more effective, this first view of your page is showing off the work and it wasn't such a, it's kind of a weak homepage the site's good it's fast it runs well like i think it communicates the information when you click on the pages and nothing terrible the only thing that i think if this was like a sexier home page i think the whole site would work better and i think it would really help your brand so so let's look at someone else's thing but before we do that i want to just remind you guys um Tonight's live stream is brought to you by YOLO Live, makers of the YOLO box. Um, man, they've been really great partners of the channel. Really love them. How many guys are live streaming? I'd love to know about that because um, I've been live streaming a lot. We've had mostly amazing results. <laughs> Not We've got all amazing results with YOLO box. We've mostly good results. A few little, it's challenging if you've ever done it. But if you're looking to get into live streaming, I would say can't get any easier than the YOLO box. This thing just makes it so easy to get into live streaming. Two inputs for your HDMI, audio input, USB input, um, all this cool stuff. So this thing, this thing is great. Anyway, let's look at a website. Here we go. So this is Benjamin Kelly. You're here, Benjamin, right? Benjamin Kelly Productions. Um, where are you out of, Benjamin? Let's know. Actually, I should have asked that. Um, if you can let me know. Um, hopefully that's a good thing, by the way, Raymond. The university comment. <laughs> Glass jar, where are you out of, too? I'd love to know that. I think Virginia, but. Um, okay, so here we go. This is Benjamin Kelly Productions. Submitted some films before. Um, here's what I know, guys <laughs> and girls. Every creators, filmmakers. Um, uh, many of us are much more. Um, all right, Culpepper, Virginia, in the sticks. We're creators, but we're not website creators. So. The only thing I always encourage people is, like, if you need a website, get a website developer, you know? And because a lot of this stuff, um, there are people who do this for a living and they can kill it, just like you do with video. And so a lot of times I'm looking and going, is the site way worse than the video? And I think that really matters, you know, for couples' trust. So let's look at this. Benjamin Kelly Productions. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is, this is n <laughs> this is not a homepage. <laughs> and like I think you know this, but you can't just have a form. You gotta have work, or it doesn't have to even be moving. It could just be a screen grab, but but it's gotta be a picture that tells people that you're good. The first thing people want to know is, are you good? Do I like the work? So I'm going to skip this homepage because it's not a real homepage. You know, um, it's just a form. So we'll go here. Okay, so let's just get into a couple things. I don't like that the website changes color right there. But I don't, like, if this was all white, I w actually wouldn't mind it at all. Um, I think it, this photo could be better. It's overexposed and yellow in the background. But I like that you have a photo, and I like the way the font looks, and and I think it looks, I, I like it. It looks nice like this. It looks nice to me. Really nice image. Um, what, is this a screen? 
saber. Don't like this. Motion through motion. Like, show. You should probably show motion on your page somewhere. Um, okay, so this is not done. This is what I'm seeing. This is not done. So I feel like there's a lot of reading here. And this is what I'm going to always tell you guys. Couples don't care. Show them the work. Show them the work. Show them the work. Yeah, I, I'm seeing this. I'm seeing that now, by the way. Show them the work. So I think the direction you're headed of just having a lot of talking, I think you should trim it down a little bit. But I, I like some of your design decisions, so I'll say that. Do the films. Um, yeah, like to me, this is a pretty nice looking page. I, again, I don't love that we're changing colors every page. That's just for me, not a vibe I'm into. Um, if I was to pick, let me think. Let's go through them all and see which one I like best. I mean, I'm a sucker man for a black background, but I know that's not everybody. I think the white background's pretty strong, though. So, not that you're asking me. <laughs> but um, does this play okay so this is what the other thing I'll tell you guys cardinal sin of web design um, you do not you do not want to take people out of your site you really need to embed your films on your site if you take people out of your site there's a chance they don't ever come back so this is just a Website does and marketing 101 is like these films need to be embedded on the page and not be links. So I would say that, but it looks nice. The page looks nice. Um, so let's look at this page. Your wedding film is an investment into your family legacy. All right. So I would say this, you got a lot of fat before we actually get to anything. I would just wonder if this would be better off deleting this right here and just getting right into the packages. I, I think you're putting key information below the fold. And then the way it's presented, let's see, investment starting at, I think, I wonder if you need all this stuff on here. And then some of it's like, this is kind of confusing. You know, I wonder if it would be better off to say like, starting package, and then maybe having an add on area, and then maybe having some like, some additional information or whatever. But I like some things. I like that all the information's here. You know, you tell everybody exactly what to expect. Um, some of these like something like this okay let's look at this fear of me the the fomo edit i would say anytime i tell people about an edit i want to show show people the edit how can i show you and make it um so i would say as you're developing the site um a looking to organize your edits in a way so that people can see all the different types of edits you you have and then i i would also say like something like this where you don't really have a price. I'm not sure anyone's going to really ask you about it, right? You might want to just consider less is more, like focusing people down to, you're trying to get them to fill out your form and get them on the phone. So, um, but I don't mind this. I think if this was just right there in the middle of the page, you can't, you win where it matters most, which is a person just goes, this is how much it costs. I get a wedding film. I get one videographer. Okay, great. This is great. I, I like this. I like that. I just wish this wasn't over here. I wish it was like, oh, you want to look at my add-ons? Go down here. Like, So when you're organizing it, I, I think maybe cut the fat throughout the site. I can see this is a very wordy site. Um, so, yeah, um, home page. Obviously not a real home page, but um, so I, you need a you need a home in your navigation. You gotta have a home, and you have to have your real home page. So, um, Benjamin, was that helpful at all? I want I want you to submit it too when you're done. 
And do you have any specific questions? Since since it's not done, you're developing it. I'd love to know if you have any specific questions or design decisions, branding decisions, anything on the site that you would want specific advice on as you're building it out. I'm glad to do that. I'm glad to help out. I'm going to give you a second to respond. All right. While Benjamin's doing that, um, how many guys um, watched <laughs> Jared and the video we released the other day <laughs> of the uh, lighting a ceremony or lighting a toast? It's pretty funny. It's a pretty good video. Uh, I'm going to send it to you guys in the chat. Because it's pretty funny. Pretty funny video. Let's get the music going a little bit. Here we go. Um, yeah, it's pretty funny. It's good information, too. All right, let's look at a website. And I'll come back, Benjamin, if you have any specific questions. So now we're going to look at Adrian Gonzalez. Um, I'm going to tell you something, Adrian. I missed your time with the Red Sox. It was really disappointing to me because um, you were one of my favorite players, and then we got you, and it just you didn't deliver. But, um, okay, is it, this is a good question, Benjamin. Benjamin just asked, would you say slipping in reviews on each page helps? Um, this is what I'll say. Reviews are interesting because we have Google reviews. We have all these places where you can have like real credible reviews. I personally, we don't have them um, because I don't know. We just don't. I, I don't want to have to maintain the section to be honest. There's a lot of reasons. But I think if you can get, re like, A, if you can get them to give you a photo or, like, put their name on it and actually write something, I think linking to your reviews on a website isn't bad. Like, read our reviews, click here, and then go to the knot or the wedding wire, something that's verified, trustworthy. Um, um, so, but I think, um, I think just, like, having, like, every page, having a bunch of reviews on it, like, some people just put, like, the most amazing experience it's like how, who knows if that's real like so whenever you're doing reviews you need to, to say like how important is this how much information do i really want to be jamming on the screen for people to read i think you already got a lot of content and not a lot of actual content you have like a lot of words but not a lot of content so i would say fill it out with all your content get some videos on there and start getting that branding and that v visual feel down and then see if you need something else but like what you don't necessarily, you don't need more information. I can tell you, I'm selling tons of weddings and we don't have reviews. So do you have to have it? No. But um, if you do, make sure that it's trustworthy and it's not just like something that looks like you just pasted. So we got Adrian Gonzalez. Um, so one thing I'm going to tell you right away, Adrian, is it looks like you don't have your site's thumbnail. I, th I think that's the WordPress icon. Or no, 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 it isn't. That's someone else's. It's good. You're good. A um, couple things. I think your logo's kind of fire, Adrian. So, I like that. Um, so, I'm always going to look at generic wedding filmmaker platitudes 101. Making beautiful memories. Let's see how much more we got. Through photographs and films, we, re revisit, yeah, we revisit memories and bring up joy, laughter, success, sadness. That is powerful. I would say delete this don't need it um, I want to get to you the filmmaker sooner I think that you know that's good but again my personal belief is the homepage should be all about the couple um, although I don't mind this it's a nice image I like hi I'm Adrian. I like the way that you're talking to them it's very personal so if this works great um, just for me I like to kind of get up there and get in front of the people. Oh, my light died. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, we got services. Homepage. It's so in terms of like design. Like what matters most, I think, is right here. 
So I don't love the making beautiful memories. I think it's kind of cheesy and doesn't really have much meaning. But um, I like that you have some cool images. Um, I'd like to see a little bit of a better edit, to be honest. It seems like you just have a session from one session. Um, we always make sure to cut together as many different films and in different environments as possible. So in terms of an inv in terms of like what you're selling, um, it looks to me like you worked with one company. And I think that is going to hurt my trust. But you can change it. You can edit that. If you, if you update this film a little bit to show a little more work. I mean, this isn't even a wedding. This looks like a styled shoot to me. Um, and so I would say, and if it is a styled shoot, cool. What I would tell you is do a couple more of these and make sure you get a wedding dress on somebody. Because that matters. Literally pay for the wedding dress. Get a model. I don't care. Um, go. It, this would be the first thing you need to fix. You got to get some wedding imagery right up here. Um, cool logo like this, and um, I'm into I'm into like the fonts you're using. I think overall it's pretty cool looking. Um, I think you need. Now let's just keep that. photo. I'm going to give you another web design 101. If you only have one option, get rid of the drop down. You don't need a drop down. Um, just, it's pointless. Photo click. You don't need photo click. It's just clunky. There you go. Um, and I know probably they're like, eventually we're going to do both. I would, r I just would, ra if none of the other ones have drop downs, especially having one with a drop down is weird. Um, I would rather have, I like, I like the way you have it on the inside, which is weddings, families, lifestyle, other. So I think that's cool looking. Let's see what happens when we click on one. Um, whew. I apologize guys for yawning all over the place. <laughs> um, I mean, it's obvious you're new. And so I think in terms of like where you're headed, I think it's good. I think where do I find out how much it costs or what you sell? I guess that's what I say. When I look at this page, I don't see, you know, packages, prices. I don't know how to like learn more about what you sell. Um, so let's look at film. Um, Adrian, where are you out of? I lived in Los Angeles. So that's a crazy market, man. A lot of competition. Um, so... Same thing. Same thing for me here is like, again, get up. It's, this is tough, man, because you're, you're not pitch, you're not selling anything. You don't need the work to kind of say like our packages, our prices, or whatever it is, like getting that person to know, how do I buy this? Because when I see this site, it looks new. It looks like you're new and that's okay. I think some people will still be fine with it. Although you should have a film like right here. So let's see what happens when we click on this. I can't even watch. Can I not watch the film Adrian on this page? So that should be fixed too, is like embedding this film so I can, oh, there it is, there it is, it does work. Just wasn't working for some reason. Um, play button would be nice, maybe somewhere on there. Like some way of make, letting people know how to watch the film. Although it's not that hard to figure out. Just being a little clunky. Hmm, just. Scanning around. This is a hero shot. Okay, okay. Like it. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be fine, man. You, you do good work. So I would say, like, get, um, yeah. Get this thing, get, get your packages. Figure out how you. 
Can I ask you, um, Adrian, how do you sell your work? Is it all custom or do you have um, packages? Like, tell me about that while I'm looking around here because I'd love to give you a little advice on how to present and sell your work a little more. Because what I will say is clearly it doesn't have the work. You don't have a ton of work. Although you do have this wedding, so I would cut this wedding into my homepage because it's, it's wedding stuff. Um, but I think what this site is really weak at is it does not sell you very effectively. Um, so let's look at contact. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Why isn't this a form? Let's see what this does. Yeah, um, I would say I'd love to see your site when you, but how do you sell? Even if they're not done, tell me about how you sell. Like, do you have packages or are you kind of just winging it right now? So that button, let's talk, does not seem to function. So that's not good. So I maybe it's me doesn't work luckily I can go up here book now okay here's an interesting thing by the way um, I think this I don't think this should be required field by the way um, don't make this required because not everyone you want to work with is gonna have Instagram that being said I think this is a good smart of you to include Instagram handle on a form because you want to learn about your couples, check out their Instagram, right? And I think that's that's really smart. Um, this, yeah, I mean, I might change this to not say service type, maybe just say like type of event, you know? Um, but I think this is a good form, you know? It's So there's a lot to like here in terms of like the branding and the direction you're headed. I think cleaning up the site I'm always going to remind you guys, like, get rid of stuff that doesn't matter. Get to the stuff that does matter. Um, and show your work. And I think this doesn't do a great job showing the wedding stuff. That doesn't mean it won't. I think once you have wedding stuff, it'll be great. Um, and then I think when you go to these pages, you know, it doesn't really... We, we got to get the packages, got to get the prices, got to gotta really direct people on what it is that you sell. Um... I'm always personally not a huge fan of putting all types of photography on there. Like we do family portraits as well and we don't put them on our website. You know, we just sell them and I, I think wedding is such a niche and it's so expensive. You don't necessarily, you know, this is just my opinion. I've seen people do it really well, so I don't want to say, but I just look at this and go like, I think you got to really drive home. We are professionals at weddings because it's a lot of money. Weddings are expensive. So I don't want to think like this person's just kind of like, oh, they're not really a wedding photographer, you know? So, okay, so I'm going to look at the last site, but I just want to remind you guys, tonight's live stream is brought to you by the YOLO Box and YOLO Live. These guys are awesome. Um, link is up there, pinned in there. Um, and you guys can just... Go, go buy one. Go start live streaming. Go start making money. If, you're, if you are live streaming, guys, I'd love to know. Um, we got a little poll up there. And if you're watching this, go ahead and hit like um, on the live stream. Comment. Do all that good stuff. It really helps out our channel um, if you're enjoying it. And definitely check out some of the other content we've been doing. Um, we took a week off the podcast this week. We, we're back next week. And then we got two more guests we're filming. So we're back on the normal. Um, we're, and we're going to Vegas, too. So we're going to be doing some... Uh, live at WPPI podcasting and some just cool behind the scenes stuff over there. So definitely get ready to hang out in Vegas with us coming up in August. But um, without further ado, uh, like I said, thank you to YOLO Live uh, for being a sponsor of the show, as well as creating an awesome product, the YOLO Box, which is the all-in-one encoder, recorder, display, live streaming device, two HDMI inputs, perfect for wedding filmmaking. I've done a couple of things on it. Oh, Fitzgerald Films, hi and bye. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Drop a like, Fitzgerald. All right. So, 
Let's see what we got. So this is Emotion Films. Um, you're no problem, Adrian. I, I do want to be helpful. I do. So Emotion Films used not here. I really wish they were here um, because, um, man, this new logo they have is fire. So I, I, I love this logo. I think it's it's beautiful. Um, I even like I like the small font. I would maybe go a little bigger on this because it is a website, but um, I, I'm really into it. I think the font's beautiful. I don't love this. The picture on the picture thing, I might get rid of that, especially I think it's the same ride. Um, but but I like it and I wish I wish it was an image or I wish it was a, a, a video in the background. Yeah, I am going to review yours, man. I'm actually going to get to it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do your film, and that's going to be the last one. So um, Pure Motion looks great. Th this is, like, I'm going to be real. This isn't really that prestigious, these Couples Choice Awards. Like, they pretty much just go based on who gets a lot of reviews. But I think it's smart, and it's well presented. It looks, like, super classy. It looks like they won, like, some amazing award. So I think it's great. Like, I like this right here. I wish this was up here or like or like a film was up here not just this frozen thing but this is cool man timeless films for unique couples this I hate <laughs> I hate the organic storytelling doesn't mean anything I hate that stuff um great picture too yeah that's a sick picture um whoever shot that they know what they're doing yo so it's beautiful. I like that it's, you know, really connecting me with you. The eye contact, the beautiful image. I mean, there's just there's just a lot of eye candy, um, and I think like it succeeds what matters most here. And this is what matters most on your homepage. First of all, is your logo good? Does it look tacky or cheesy? This looks great. Do you have great images, great pictures, and video proof of work? this has that could do more yeah i think this could be a video but uh, overall i mean it's a good feeling home page films um a lot of work here i mean if you guys haven't seen their work i'm just going to click on it just so you can see the work that i think they used to be called emotion films um and th they're excellent filmmakers and you can see that. I wish I could skip around. I'll tell you that. I don't like that I can't skip around. This is probably like the website one. Yeah, I've seen this one before. Actual little literal that that is fire. <laughs> um so so I think if I was a couple and I came here, I would want to be able to scroll around. So I, I'm curious about what player you're using and in maybe not using it maybe using like a vimeo embed or something where you could scroll around a little bit because i think people aren't going to love having to sit there and just like watch i think it's it could be better i think this could also be a this is entirely too small for body font like especially because you got all this space between you could get bigger because you can't even read that highlight films are for clients who love okay so these are highlight films the other thing that's what i look and go like are, if they're all highlight films here, instead of saying organic st storytelling, you might want to say highlight films or something. But I think the work looks great, and I don't think a couple will care that much. Um, us. I mean, I have no complaints with this page at all. I think it, it does a great job connecting me with you. And I'm assuming that's your spouse or girlfriend or something, but I think it's great. I think this is a great page. It looks beautiful, all that stuff. Um, testimonials. Like I said, to me, I'm not like crazy about, I don't like this page. This page does not look nice. The, the, the kerning is, uh, the line spacing is like this right here. It needs to be about twice as tight. Like your spacing right here needs to be like tighten this thing up. Um, let's. I have no reason whatsoever to believe that these are real people. I mean, I would, I do, I guess, believe it. 
But yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm not wild about it, but I don't like the spacing. I think the line spacing is bad. So I'm going to give you one major complaint with the whole website. Because you got incredible branding and good films. It is very, very ineffective at, pull, at, at helping me buy anything. You don't tell me how your packages are assembled. You don't tell me, do you sell packages? Are they all custom? I have no sense of how expensive you are. Like, I think you should at least have a starting at. I personally see no, like, I don't know any filmmaker who literally has um, no concept of what they sell and how much they sell it for. I don't know why you wouldn't at least present to someone the types of things they can buy. And this is what I'll tell you. People always do this, oh, community over competition and rising tires. Everybody in your market is competing with you, right? And, and, the, and the sooner someone else can find information, people are just this way. If, you, if someone can give the information in a more, think about how all of you shop. The way we shop is very convenience driven. And, and I'll prove it to you. How many of you have ever just bought the very first thing that you saw on Amazon that met your criteria? didn't go look at all the prices you just were like yeah that's the price i was looking to spend and it was right there and it had prime shipping right you go convenience 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 um and i think the same thing with our couples our couples want it to they want it to be easy they want you to sell them and i think a lot of people have these like oh we're gonna connect with you and we'll do this and do that yeah that's great man but it's on a freaking website like you know people want it to be at least relatively convenient you don't have to say every single one of your packages we don't put all our a la carte we put our a la carte we sell those afterwards you don't have to have everything on your website um, but you do need enough key information for a person to want and be able to fill out your forms so i think here like the biggest weakness with this website because i like i don't like the testimonials page but i doubt it'll hurt you this page will hurt you. The films page will hurt you because it doesn't have packages or anything. And you don't even have a contact us button in your menu. You got to get a contact button. So let's just as a review, fire new branding. Good job. Um, like to see a video here and not, and I don't love this. That's weird to me. Um, a lot of really good stuff here. Don't love this phrase, but you know, if you're into it and your couples like it, who cares what I think. Um, and I really want to see packages or something that helps me buy your films. In general, you got to get a contact button or like reach out or something. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's way up there. Like I couldn't even see it. This has to be better. This is not drawing my attention at all um yeah there's a lot to like here and i think i can see the work you put in with the branding and all this stuff and so good job i think it's awesome i think you're headed in a great direction once you can get those packages and pricing and however you're presenting that information i think in a more clear way i think it's gonna serve you really really well um okay let's look at i'm gonna go to your I don't have it loaded up, eh, man, so I'm going to go get it loaded up. Um, all right. So you're in the UK, eh, man? Where in the UK are you? It's late over there. Early or something. All right. Eh, man, studio. Uh... All right, so first of all, I like London. Oh, oh man, you're good. <laughs> you're good. So this is a gr this is great, you know, in terms of like the way the work is presented because I think first of all, it's like you're doing a good job showing a diversity of couples. Um, diverse. So we got city, we got country, we got a. I mean, there's a lot going on here that I think will really um, help a couple like see themselves. I always tell people, I'm like, your website is more like a mirror than it is a display. A couple wants to go to your website and see themselves. And I think you do a good job like 
a lot of different types of couples could see, oh, I, I can fit in this person's filmmaking world. Relive your special moments. Again, I always tell people, like, if it seems cheesy, it's just words. You don't have to have it. Like, to me, just delete all this stuff. Who cares about this crap? Like, you got an incredible film back there. Let me look at that thing. I want to see these films. I don't care about this stuff. Um, but that's me. I'll always be like, less is more, less is more. Um, unless you have, like, a great catch, unless you have a like, great slogan or something, but a lot of people just put that stuff there because the website designer has ability to. You don't have to. Um, we truly believe what we do is shoot from our heart. Oh, no. Okay. Um, highlight your most romantic moments in film. Oh, what the yacht got crazy today. Oh, sweet. Ugh. Like I told it, everybody, we're tired over here. <laughs> we shot 10 weddings last weekend. <laughs> 10 weddings. We shot Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <laughs> so, we are beat. Anyway, um, this is your homepage. Um, that's a great image, man. Is that a real tilt shift, or what do you got going on there? Um, new case. See how we capture. Um, curious what that means. See the films we make, or our films. I think that might be better. How we capture. I think that's, that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. Uh, okay, so you got a lot of going on on this homepage. I would say it's nothing on it that I think is terrible at all. Um, I think you don't need all this though. Um, but, and I think I do like that you start with your packages. I always tell people sell, 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 sell. I'm a, I'm a salesperson. I want to sell. Um, so let's look at the packages. Oh, jeez, dude. 2,400 bucks or 2,400 quid. What is that? American, like probably 3,000, maybe, um, maybe a little more. So we got the, they're all French. I like that. That's kind of fun. I mean, this, this is a great, a great package presentation because it's just very obvious what is what. The only thing I'll give you is a little bit of a feedback. I think you might be better if these were arranged horizontally. I, I, I personally like it like this. This is how we do it, and it's been really good for us. Hopefully I can load it. Um, I like this because you can see everything right up front. What the person's buying. And then we have a contact button under each one. We have contact buttons like everywhere. <laughs> like it needs everywhere. So yeah, that's a little bit of a feedback I would give you. Um, but I like it overall. I think it's nice. And I think this, if I was a couple, and I like this too. Like if I was a couple and it came to this, I would be like, oh, finally, someone who just tells me what I want to know. I think it's great. And, and I think, I think you did a good job. Um, and then we got films. The. Oh, okay, so this is just a link back. Yeah, I mean, I think you should have a real page for this stuff. I see why some people, they're actually single page websites. I think this should be a, a real page and not just click back to the home page. Um, and then contact. It's, yeah, okay, it's all based on your home page. Okay, I understand that. Um, and it's probably fine. I think the website is solid. It doesn't feel cheap at all. The branding is good. The films are good. The package presentation is good. I, I think you did a good job. And I think, um, you know, I have little, that little feedback, which is, I said, oh, you got a lot on your homepage. Well, actually, your whole, you really have a single page site. And so I think that's okay. My opinion, it's better to have separate pages because of the way that Google indexes things. Um, they're going to be looking for um, multiple pages on your website. And so it's better to have multiple pages instead of just homepage, homepage, homepage. So, yeah, um, that's it. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out on Wedding Film School Live. We got a bunch of other stuff coming up. Again, this is brought to you by YOLO Live. You guys are the best. Um, if you haven't subscribed, 
subscribe go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit that alert bell we got a bunch more wedding filmmaking content coming your way um, we're super excited if you haven't joined our facebook group join the facebook group head over there um, and if you know if you're on the facebook group chime in take part in the community ask questions it's a great community hope you guys had a great night um, we're gonna be doing film reviews next week with uh, the whole crew so we're excited about that um, have an awesome week have a good time shooting your weddings and make sure that um, you're <laughs> we're gonna be doing a fun thing in the Facebook group every Saturday vendor meal Saturday so we're gonna be posting we're just actually start doing a giveaway so as you with that something fun we're gonna give away so um, we're looking forward to hanging out with you guys more have an awesome day night whatever time you're watching this